world where nuclear war has begun. Vampires fought back in super real 3D. You have a Canon EOS R5C in your hands and it is not operating the same way that you experienced when you did a Canon EOS R or maybe an R5. If you're used to the photo menu that's normally there and now you've got this awesome cinema menu, it just does act a little bit differently. So this is a super quick effort to try and go to the direct first three things that I cared about the most that I've had to access differently now that we're in the cinema menu. I wanna know how do I, uh, you know, on my screen, touch screen, change my aperture, my ISO, uh, my white balance. And what it is is in the bottom left corner, right here, this button with the little finger and the white square, if you press that, all of a sudden this menu system opens up along here and this is touchable. So now I can touch it, now I can assign like an exact Kelvin, uh, temperature that I want. I can choose one of the default ones. I can hop over to my ISO, and this is very similar to a red where I can slide this wheel up and down. Got your shutter, that's great. And then this was question number two. Where are my cool cinema features that offer me peaking and waveform and zebras and all that, and it's right there. Because you hit this other button that was back there, now we have this menu system, then you can hit this button here, and that's what's gonna bring you into all these cool options. I love the waveform monitor. I do wish you could slide the box around. It's stuck in place where it's at. Hopefully they change that in firmware because it'd be nice to be able to drag that out of the way of your shop. But I, for exposure, that's personally what I go to is a waveform monitor. And the last thing that I really wanted to know was, well, where do I get to choose raw? And where do I get to choose my resolution and all that stuff? And again, because by default, like none of this stuff is like clickable, if you hit here, there's also this new button that has appeared. If you press that, well, boom, you're, well, <laughs> that was on page three, but here's the first page. And you'll notice that because of these, you have three dots here and each one is a page. And this first page is where you can choose full frame or you can choose your Super 35 or Super 16 crop. And it says that it's cropped. So if you go to Super 35, what happens is it said on page two where you can choose whether you want raw or you want XAVC and what flavor of raw and all that. By default, by choosing Super 35, it is an actual crop on your resolution as well. So you, this is how you get 6K. You won't see 6K as an option. It's just, I'm sorry, it's just either full frame or Super 35, or you can go all the way over here to your Super 16, but the reason I don't do that or haven't really cared about testing it is that the resolution drops down to 3K. So when you do 6K, it's actually a crop mode by default. And then I did another video on using the speed booster with that, so then you get back the full frame and you can check that out and what results I kind of got with that and I give you comparisons. Now, if you choose XAVC by default, it's gonna go to 4K now. Full frame was 8K. If you go to Super 35, it's gonna be 6K. If you go to XAVC as your codec, it by default will go to 4K. So if you've chosen XAVC and you chose Super 35 mil in the previous page, you will have a cropped in, still 4K image, right? So you just got that Super 35 look like traditional film cameras. You still have your full 4K, so don't worry about that. This is where you can also choose your picture profile. And this is where I have a few LUTs dialed in. I'll make another video that's just going straight to the point about how to set up a LUT if you don't know how to do that yet because you do have to use an SD card, it's its own little thing. The thing about using a LUT is that if you do and you record an XAVC, it's gonna bake the LUT into your image, which I prefer to not do. If you go to RAW, you're viewing the LUT, but it is view only, it is not baking it in. But anyway, this is where you get to choose your picture profile, so I leave that up to you. You can see how much different it is right now, how cropped in it is in this mode. So if we went back to our first page, and we changed it from the Super 16. We go back to full frame. Now look how much wider that shot is. The last page is where you can actually choose your stuff for your proxies. So if you wanna actually have proxies recording into your SD card that you have as a second card, um, this is where you get to actually choose that. And by hitting in there, you can choose what type. I'm sticking with XAVC. Uh, you can also choose whether to conform to a custom picture profile or whatnot. So um, yeah, that's what I wanted to know. Hopefully that helps get you up and running and get out the door and start filming right now uh, and have fun with this Canon EOS R5C. Uh, it's, I'm very, very happy with it so far. These tests are getting me more and more familiar with it, but it is a little bit of a learning curve going to this other menu system. But it's fine, it's good, it's better. And yeah, all right, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Movie Voice.